and welcome to today's episode. Today I will be uh, demonstrating the operation of the dry powder system. The dry powder system is the main fire extinguishing agent for LNG fires and you will find it on all LNG carriers and of course on LPG carriers. So let's go ahead and have a look on the system. The operation of the system can take place locally, can take place from the cargo control room and of course it can take place from the fire station, the fire station number one and only. The dry powder system consists of the following. The cabinets which are hoses on deck, 33 meters of length and the monitors which are on the port side and on the starboard side of the cargo manifolds. The monitors can be operated from the uh, local position which is the manifolds, from the cargo control room and of course the fire station. The cabinets can be operated only from outside locally and in case of emergency from inside the uh, tank. So let's go and have a look. Well our vessel has total number of four dry powder units. The dry powder number one unit which is there is for cabinets number one, three and five. The dry powder cabinet number two here, unit number two, is for stations two, four, six, eight cabinets. And the ones in the manifolds, which we have port and starboard, we have for the port and starboard, and we have for cabinets nine and 11. And the other one is for the cabinet seven and nine. Well, now I am inside the dry powder station. Inside the dry powder station, you will find these nitrogen cylinders which are the main propellant cylinders which will push out the gas from inside which is nitrogen and this will go through a piping and will go inside to the dry powder storage tank. Inside this tank, as you understand, we've got dry powder. For this one here, it has 800 litres of dry powder, main extinguishing agent. So with a build up of pressure from the nitrogen cylinders, then we will distribute to the uh, required cabinet the uh, extinguishing agent and we will extinguish the fire. So now it's time to see how the dry powder hose cabinet operates. Outside of every dry powder hose cabinet there are instructions on the operation of the cabinet. But let's go and have a look on how we will do it. Open the door. Secure it. So the next thing you need to do is to come here and pay out, lay out the hose. The hose should not stay on the reeling. 33 meters of this hose needs to be on deck. During every cargo operations, these needs to be, la needs to be laid out. So, after that, you will need to come here and open the cylinder valve. So please come and have a look how this is done. Right here, this cylinder valve has a seal. If you open it, then the propellant gas which is inside here, and for this instance, this is nitrogen, but there are the vessels that they have CO2, this will head and be prepared to go to the, uh, to the uh, storage positions, to the uh, ones, to the, cap to the main storage units where the system can be operated. So as you open the valve, you bring this down, and then the gas from here, the CO2, goes directly inside the stations and activates the nitrogen, big nitrogen cylinders in order to send them inside the dry powder tanks. So then the system is ready to operate. The uh, valve here has a shut, now it's in the shut position and here if I pull it back that's in the open. So you will come here, you'll hold the gas, you'll hold the gun and of course you will extinguish. When we extinguish a gas fire, remember you go very uh, low and you go and sweep out the uh, the area where it has taken fire. 45 seconds is the minimum time that the system can be operated and of course you can open and shut, open and shut. Be careful if you do this you need to take into account that the uh, uh, dry powder, the main fire extinguishing agent may end at a point and you may not have sufficient dry powder in order to extinguish a fire. So, that's all from here.
So now I will be showing you the dry powder monitor system for the manifolds. Now I am on the starboard side, same applies also for the port side. So in order to operate the system, the system can be operated from here, from locally, which is here in the manifolds, also from the CCR, the cargo control room, and of course the fire station, the fire station number one. So how do we operate it? In order to operate it, you will need to have the monitor pointing out to the uh, arms which are connected. So there is a diagram which you will may see what elevation and what orientation of the monitor needs to be placed. So this can be fixed prior loading or discharging. So how do we operate it? So now I will be going upstairs in order to show you. Right. So now, locally, in order to operate the system, you will need to come here with a firefighting uh, equipment. You will not come with a normal coverall in order to extinguish a fire, because here, if you've got a gas fire, the area will be full of heat, and this cannot be done like that. So how do you operate it? How do you operate it here locally? In order to operate it locally, you just come here, you open this cabinet, which is right here, And it's quite tight to do so and you've got two uh, pilot cylinder valves this is nitrogen in order to activate it you can use one of the two or afterwards you can use the second one how do you do it you open the valve on the top you open the main valve on the top so I pretend now that I open it and then I will bring down the ball valve to the open position so now the system has sent this uh, gas inside to the main station where the nitrogen is located. The big 68 liters cylinder of nitrogen which are located there. Eight nitrogen cylinders of 68 liters are placed inside, of, inside in any station which is uh, for the manifolds. And of course they have one spare which is required for the agitation. So, system from here is operated what you need to do is close it and then you will come here and you will operate the valve so the valve now is operating and you've got minimum 45 seconds in order to extinguish the fire so when you extinguish the fire all going well then you'll bring back the valve and you'll read the procedures in order uh, to secure the system and to be ready in the future for use. For sure, you will need to refill it with new dry powder and an inspection needs to be done in order to put it back in operation for the future. So, thank you for watching today's episode. I hope I've covered the main fire extinguishing agent for LNG carriers, which is dry powder. And this is a training video for the young officers and of course the current officers sailing on LNG vessels and I hope you find it very useful. Please feel free in asking questions in regards to the uh, main fire extinguishing systems or any other one that I could help out that you would like to uh, know about. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel Nick the Sailor Man and don't forget to leave your comments down on the comment section below and of course click in all notifications in order not to miss my future videos. And please don't forget of course to share. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.